Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for episode three of The Flash Season 8, the third part of the crossover event that is Flash Armageddon. Uh, last episode saw Despero bringing more information about what is to come with Barry, saying he's going to lose his mind. He's going to go uh, on this day. He's going to start rampaging against the city and things start to play out that way as a psychic meta kind of makes their way onto the scene in Central City. But even after that meta is locked away, the Flash seemingly has attacked Central City, despite that meta being off the streets and having saved the day. So the question now left to everybody is what is going on with Barry? What is happening in Central City? And he has turned his sights towards the Super Friends and reaches out to a dear friend, Jefferson Pierce and I'm excited guys this is the team up that I've been waiting for for a while I've been waiting to see these two share the screen together once again Jefferson Pierce and Barry Allen once again uh, we haven't really seen it since crisis that was the, honestly the first time and I, it was just so kinetic that I was like really excited to see it again I really like their banter their back and forth and I can't wait to see what they bring to the table in this to help uh, Barry confront Despero, the situation, and everything else coming down the pipeline. But guys, we're going to go ahead and dive into this thing. So if you want to see the full-length reaction to this episode, you can check it out over on Patreon or become a member here on the channel. It gets you access as well. You just sync up your own footage with the time code, and you see my reaction to the entire episode. Because when it comes to YouTube, we do have to trim things down to 10 minutes for it to be viewable for you guys there. It's just one of the ways you can help support us do what we do over here. But I know not everybody can do that. Another way you can support the channel is simply by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing these videos. Because it tells YouTube to share this video with other people. And it brings more people into the channel that way. But that all said and down of the way, guys. Let's go ahead and dive into episode 3. Here we go. Injustice. protocols are a one-way trip mm. a bad one i know that injustice protocols i destroyed my apartment at super speed i attacked my team my family jefferson i attacked innocent people dozens of them and i don't remember doing it i'm out of control mm. you have to take away my powers what is it because he's got lightning based powers he can like take barry's speed away hmm I don't know, man. Okay. Okay. I forgot Joe died. Mm. If I ever said the word injustice, you'd listen. Please. We have to do this now. Damn, man. Remember. When we take away your powers, they are gone. Permanently. Yeah, that ain't happening. And it won't wait for me to find you, Flash. Hmm. I don't care what he may or may not do 10 years from now. We need to take care of him today, just like he did for me. Okay. Hell yeah. He's lost his mind. Now, doesn't that seem like a big coincidence? A little too big? A little too raft. I mean, what if a metahuman abducted him at the last second or or he got swapped with like a, a mirror clone? I, mean, I saw them bury his body. A body. If he is innocent, if we can't find him, which is what we have been trying to do while you have been living in a fantasy world. Oh my God. Every morning in our bed praying to God that all of this was nothing but a bad dream. This scene, man. If you insist on pursuing this lie, then we will save Barry without you. Oh my God. Jesus. We find Barry before Despero does first. No matter what it takes. My God, that was fucking intense. Build something, something that can amplify my psychic powers. You want me to build a cerebro? <laughs> oh, frack, yeah, I can do that. Okay, there's still one problem. Alrighty then. Even if we amplify your empathic radius, you'd still be at a disadvantage. Then we're gonna need some more brain power. And I know just who to call. Psych. <laughs> if someone wanted to alter the footage of Joe's accident to make it seem like he died, that'd be where they'd start. Nah, I don't think that's some weird shit happening with Iris's head. She saw something there. What about after? Was there anyone there who had access? Man, I, I, 
I'm so glad we have Iris doing Iris stuff. It happens sometimes. Well, the reason I'm asking is because the video files that you sent over to CCPD were missing some very important frames from the moment of the incident. And owning it. I was wrong. It was just an accident. Mm. Oh. Criminal enterprise. Not hustling morons in a dive bar. Guess you probably shouldn't have sold them out after all. Fine. <laughs> when do we start? All right, make some deals. Monk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I lost someone too a while back. Bill Henderson. Actually, he was a cop like your old man. And they did, they did Henderson dirty, man. Now, when your suit materializes, you'll be able to generate enough voltage to disrupt my speed force connection. Hmm. This is gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. This isn't gonna happen, man. What's gonna stop this? Boss, you gotta see this. No, go back. <laughs> I want to find out what happened. It's not Allegra. I was wrong. These last six months have been the worst six months of my life. Damn it, guys. Come on. You're on the you're on the edge. There's always hope. That shit. Whatever the fuck that is. Are you seeing this? Seeing what? It's gotta be like time particles or something, and that's why she can see it. I thought that was a dead end. It's not. I just couldn't see all the evidence. It's fucking Thawne, guys. It's fucking Thawne. It's too much. It's too much. I can't. 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 I That that was a pep talk, I guess. <laughs> oh, keep it going, keep it going. We almost have a clear signal. Ah, oh, damn. They'll find Flash first. And I'll be right behind them. Oh man. Okay, this is this is something else. Ah, uh, an appointment in the books because usually we meet in the speed lab. Dion, nobody's screwed with the timeline. Right? I, I would have sensed that. Then someone's hiding something. I need you to undo my treatments. All of them. What? I couldn't sense it before. Oh, damn. Somebody's fucking with time. When tapped into the negative steel force to rewrite the time. Negative steel force. Oh shit! There wasn't supposed to die. But someone changed the past to make sure that he did. Ooh! <laughs> Is Thawne like tapping into the other negative forces to help with this whole thing? I can't help thinking you're heading down the same path. Look, I know. I know. I don't talk about Joe. Like I get where Cecile's coming from, but like she's got to understand. Like everybody on this team knows every bit of what she's going through and she's not special for going through this oh let me guess dinner's ready what the fuck oh sweet joseph when is okay my phone is still plugged into the star labs emergency sensors someone just turned on the particle accelerator thon, 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 thon. it's like the particle accelerator turned itself on not exactly I may have given it a Wait, little what? push. Wait, what? Why? What the fuck? Susan? <laughs> what, uh, what's his game here? Like, why is he attacking the accelerator? Checkmate. 
Is he trying to draw out Barry? Or just so he could absorb the power from it. What the hell? Oh, yes. It's like Mahesh you saying, only ten times better. Oh. What makes you think I came here to bargain? Okay. How about I let you peek inside my mind? <laughs> Partly reconstruct the flash's location. The other half must be in yours. Is she dead? You're wrong. I am not alone. <laughs> she dispelled his uh projection. She's alive. Oh, okay. She's alive. If you're keeping something important from me, I suggest you remedy it. <laughs> I like the way he said that. I'm asking you to save the world and you won't even... Forcing a fight. You're gonna hear me now. I didn't see this coming. You made a promise to keep this world safe. Jeez. Oh, Imagine millions dead. Yeet. Right back at you, bud. Throw lightning at him one more time. It's your lightning. You keep it. <laughs> because if one of us goes rogue, the rest of the world doesn't stand a chance. Oh. No, no, Barry. You, you better fucking fix that right goddamn now. Uh, you think this is what he would have wanted? I like that stick. I like that sting from the arrow theme. Jefferson, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Hmm. Just tell me this. Where's the future? <laughs> it's right here. Whose life is this? Mine. Mine. So what are you gonna do with it? Live it. Oh, right in the eye. Oh, he's going to go to the future. Isotopes will pull you toward any weird temporal activity. Run, Barry. <laughs> Damn, the end is nigh. Is it Will Wheaton again? <laughs> if I could have everyone's attention for a moment. I have been waiting for this moment for... What the fuck? A very long time. When you find love of your life, it's like... Jav hey! What the hell? Now you're part of something greater. You're part of something wonderful. What the shit? The love of my life. And, and to our future together. What the fuck? What the hell is he doing here? God damn it. I'm so confused. So Tom Cavanaugh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. New theory. Thawne has somehow changed time to make everybody think that Wells is Barry and that Barry is Thawne. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> Jesus. That one's, th that threw me off. Because I can't foresee like a time where he jumps in the future. Maybe Barry has died or something else has happened. And Iris is just decides to marry Thawne out of nowhere. 
So it's got to be that they all think that that is Barry up there. And that maybe, or maybe this isn't, this is like the effects of that. Maybe these are the result of changes that Thawne's already made. I mean, that very well could be timeless, Wells, but I, I fucking doubt that. Um, man, that was a trip. I don't even, I'm not even about, it's still Thawne. I'm, Thawne. Thawne's the fucking guilty party in this whole thing. Um, the bits with Top and Cecile was interesting. Like them seeing, putting their, literally putting their heads together to kind of find Barry in them. Um, Despro waiting for them to do it was an interesting little piece and a uh, little thing to act on. We got a second mention of Ronnie. Um, so I'm wondering if they're setting that up for something we keep coming back to it. Like, is Ronnie going to be in this crossover or this upcoming season or play into it? We, we know some returning faces from the past are coming back. Maybe he's one as well. I don't know. Uh, we don't really know what happened to him in the new, in the post crisis world, really. Um, obviously the past that happened with the accelerator still happened, but you know, did the black hole event still happen where he went into that and stopped that or whatever? Don't know. Lots of questions still there for that. Um, but man, Jefferson coming in here and just being this counterbalance of reason and logic, uh, behind Barry was a lot of fun. And the fact that he was like, I, I like this play that they did, obviously, on the Injustice games or anything. If anything happened, like with the Superman going crazy, we got to be able to take him down. So they've got, they've already, I guess because they've already used the Babel uh, protocols for the Flash it, internally, they went with Injustice to kind of bring that in. Otherwise, it would have been, I, I would imagine they would have went with what Batman's contingencies were for the Justice League, which were his Babylon protocols. Uh, they went with Injustice, which is a nice little other play that they went with it. And just uh, send it up with Jefferson because they have, both have lightning-based abilities. He can uh, siphon the, uh, the the speed force out of him. It was a nice little touch. But uh, I like the callbacks to the things that Jefferson's been through, you know, with the passing of Henderson relating to that to Joe's death and how close to it he was, um, to how they bet back in Crisis to Oliver's sacrifice. Barry better clean up that mess. Better put that altar back up. I half expected, because we know Mia's in this crossover, like half expected her to come out there and pick it up, pick up her father's bow and arrow off the ground from there. But I was like, that wouldn't make sense right now. But it was just me thinking about it. I like the little twinges of some of the like musical stings from the arrow soundtrack creeping their way into that moment as well. As Jefferson was recounting Oliver to Barry, it was a nice little touch. And yeah, Oliver believes in Barry. Everybody should believe in Barry. And Iris being the key to figuring out this, what's happening with the timeline, I really like it. So far, and I know this is a crossover event, and it's not indicative of what the remainder of this season will be like, but I like what they're doing with her in this, with her reporting, and with her standing by Barry, with her being this, one, being his rock in this whole thing, and following her gut even through her own pain. Like we saw her like struggle with confronting like these images of her father dying, the footage and all that stuff and pushing past it, re like drudging up old feelings while Cecile kind of went the opposite direction with that and had to work her way back. Um, Iris just pushed on through it and they're keeping up this time sickness thing, which we still don't have really a resolution for as to why it happened or, you know, it being cured. But somehow, whatever's going on with her allows her to see these particles um, that are being messed with, these remnants of p tampering with the timeline, with the time stream. And it's there. It's everywhere right now, and it's growing. And I just can't wait to see how things come to a head. I like how they're filter like really working her into this and actually giving her so much agency in the plot. It's really well done. And there was that really great scene between her and Cecile um, earlier on in the episode that I really enjoyed. 
And like, I get like acting being acting and all that, but like, gosh, man, to keep a keep that like poker face while you're being like unloaded on. It's got to be how do you, I don't know how some people do that, man. Jesus, like she was just like, you done yet? <laughs> I thought it was fun. I like this episode. I don't think we're I I I don't think we're done with Jefferson, but we saw a lot of we got a, we saw a bunch of faces right there. We saw Javicia. We saw uh. Team Flash, we saw Alex, we saw um, Ryan Choi here uh, all together for this little West party. Just West party. So I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what that what happens with this one. But yeah, it's definitely Eobard. It's there's no other option at this point, um, especially with him wanting to take everything from him and like. He always wanted to be the Flash. He always wanted to be Barry Allen. And now he's really doing that, I think. I think he has, in the public eye, created some kind of perception filter that makes them see Barry as Eobard. Or he has changed the timeline to where everybody thinks that is what Eobard looks like. And that is whatever. But then again, if that's the case, though, Despero should be going after Eobard, right? Because if that's Eobard, or if that's this world's Barry, and he's the one running around doing this shit with the Flash, maybe in this new future timeline, they don't know Barry Allen is the Flash. And that's how Tom Cavanaugh is able to distinguish one and the other. I don't know, man. I, I can't, I, I'm really curious to see how this all blends together. But I had fun with this episode. I'm having fun with the crossover so far and the start to the season. I really... Really, really hope this sticks once we get into the main part of the season. I'm going to keep saying that because I, I don't want to get my hopes up because this is definitely them putting their best foot forward at the moment. Fun episode. What do you guys think? Sound out the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. If you want to join the conversation or Discord, you can do that. Links to that and all my socials are down below. You can also check out the full length reaction over on Patreon or become a member here on the channel. It gets you access as well. Speaking of, before we go, I want to shout out to Channel Legends, Manny Share, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Korsgaard, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Jeffrey Hale, and various abominations. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. That's been another episode of The Flash. I'll see you guys next week with the penultimate episode of the crossover event. Take care, everybody.